hi guys how are you guys doing welcome to my channel on today's video we'll be cutting out um, a reversible pinafore jacket and to do that we'll be making use of this Ankara print for this project and I have two yards of Ankara print here this is two yards and this also is two yards I'll be making use of this two Ankara print for this reversible jacket so now I will use a um, paper stay to make it to give it a bit of fame on the peplum so now let's go into this tutorial but before we go please guys if you are new to this channel please hit the subscribe button thank you very much so guys I'll be making use of this pattern paper to illustrate this for you to see so first thing you have to do when you want to cut this pinafore jacket, you know this jacket has an half cut. So we'll cut the half cut and it has a band also. So the half cut is 17 inches. So because we are going to be removing 2 inches for the band, we'll mark 15 inches for the half cut of this jacket. So now, after getting the length of your half cut, next thing you have to do is to get your shoulder. The shoulder I'm working with is 7. When I mean 7, it's 14. 14 divided by 2 give you 7. So this is my 7 inches mark here. We'll put this down here. The next thing we have to do now is to get the neck width and the length. So the neck width we'll be using is 3 inches. So we'll do 3 inches here. I'll be using this pattern paper to cut the both the front and the back. This is my 3 inches mark here. I'll come down by 3 inches for the front neckline. And I'll come down by 1.5 inches for the back neckline. You can see how it is. So now let's connect this together. So guys, after connecting your neckline, now we've got the front and the back neckline. Next thing we have to do on this seven inches mark we have here you know we have seven inches this is the shoulder measurement these are seven inches mark like i said we now come down from this seven inches mark by one inches for the shoulder slope so now we'll connect this one inches mark to this neck width okay so now this we have to put down the seven inches we have here and next thing we have to do you come in you know now this is the seven inches because we want it to be on the shoulder not outside you know this thing does not have hand so you come in by one inches so now this will be the new shoulder line so now if you check now we have six inches here so we mark the six inches here now with this six inches mark will connect to the half length but before we connect that you now bring down your bust pan measurement on your half length the bust pan i'm working with is seven seven divided by two will give you 3.5 i'm dividing by two because my pattern paper is on fold so you have to make your pattern paper on fold so now mark 3.5 inches here so now connect this six inches mark to the 3.5 inches which is my boss pan just straight down like this so now this is it but well, before we cut out let me use my marker pen for you to see it plain okay guys i'm done with using my marker pen to make it there for you guys to see so now I'll cut this out then i'll cut it on my fabric before we now cut out the peplum So guys i've cut out the back piece i added half inches for the side seam that was and join it half inches on the shoulder half inches round the neck and half inches on the half length that was and join it to the peplum and this back piece is on fold when you want to cut your back piece you have to cut it on fold this is it this is how it will be when you open it up but the front piece will be cutting it it will, have, it will have a slit at the front. So 
so now let me keep this aside so we can cut out the neck of the front then we use this pattern paper to cut the front piece on our fabric so now cut this out all right guys i'm done with the cutting of the half length now let's work on the peplum the peplum will be cutting will be cutting out 720 degree peplum flay when i say 720 degree flay it means 360 plus 360 let me make it of the marker so you can see it very well let's say 360 plus 360 will give us 720 so it will be cutting out 720 degree flay to cut out a 720 degree flay you divide your waist by 8 the waist i'm working with is 28 28 divided by 8 equal 3.5 but this 3.5 now because we're cutting out a 720 degree flay we'll be cutting out two pieces of this flay so the flay pieces will be cutting now because this is a reversible peplum we'll be cutting out on the the other anchor will be cutting out two and the other one will be cutting out two all together the flay will be four by the time we join it together please stick with me i will show you how we join everything together so now let's cut this out so to fold your fabric let's assume this is your fabric now you can see it's opened like this now you fold it into two the two edge will be equal like this then you fold it again this will make it into four this is my fabric i fold it into four and this place that is like angle you make sure this angle is there you can see the way it is this will be our startup line let us call this a startup line now i fold in my fabric this is how you fold in your fabric you make sure this two edge is closed fold like this i mean you make sure this two edge is fold and this place will be into four so now because we the our waist now is 3.5 you have to check 3.5 from this angle you check this way you make sure your tape is like this is on 3.5 so when you've gotten your 3.5 you first mark this place here you can see we are marking with my pens to get 3.5 and mark here also so now we'll check what we have from from this angle there this angle this is our radius you check what you have there and check we have 2.25 this 2.25 you now bring this like this 2.25 on this area 2.25 like this 2.25 like this all round this is my 2.25 so now we have to check and see if it's up to 3.5 it's more than so you make sure it's not more than 3.50 for the waist okay now it's 3.5 so now you connect these lines together to connect the lines together you connect like this Now we've gotten the waist. This is the waistline. But we'll be cutting out two of this. So now we have to get the length of the peplum. The length we are working with is eight. When I how do we get eight? The blouse length we are working with is 25. This 25. By that we minus 17 from 25 to give us 8 inches. This 17 is plus is plus the band so now i'll cut out eight inches i'll draw out eight inches here like this this is my eight inches you get this round like this eight inches from this mark here this waistline we have here that's where you get your eight inches from eight inches eight inches 
8 inches. So now we'll connect the lines together. You know, this is the peplum. So now we'll cut this out. We'll be cutting two on the Ankara fabric, two on the lining. And you know the lining we are making is still Ankara because it's a reversible peplum we are working on. So now let me cut this out on my fabric so you can see. This is it when you open it up. This is the flare when you open it up. You close it. It will be like this. Now we have to cut this on the fabric. To cut this you have to add half inches all around the purple. So now I've placed my pattern paper on my fabric before we cut out. You have to add half inches on your peplum. You can see the way I'm adding this. For the joining allowance, half inches. And you come down here also and add half inches all around. I cut this out. All right, guys, I'm done with the cutting of the peplum blouse. This is the half cut and this is the front. I added half inches on the sides on the center front on the neck area half inches on the front so this is the Ankara the two Ankara we'll be using and this is the back I added only half, uh, half inches on this side because the back is called on fold so now I'll keep this aside and this is my peplum this is one this is two. By the time we slit this and gum our paper stay to it, we'll join them together when we get there. Then this is the second peplum. We cut two of these, then two of these also. So now let me gum my paper stay to this. All right, guys, I'm done with the ironing of the estate to the fabric. You can see how it is. So now we'll be joining this on the shoulder we join it like this on half inches let me pin this down so you can see i will join the other side also on half inches so guys this is the 360 degree flea i will just pick one side and slit it open like this On it. This is how it will look. Then I'll open the other one also. Just pick one side and join this together on half inches. Now we'll go and join this, and I will join for the other Ankara fabric also. I'll do the same thing I do to this Ankara fabric on this fabric. All right, guys, I'm done with the joining of the shoulders. Now I've joined the shoulder for the Ankara piece you can see and I've used my pressing iron to press this down I joined the shoulder too for this other one you can see how it is so now we'll turn this to the front like this and place the other Ankara piece on it like this when you're placing this you have to make sure the shoulders are together the shoulder the neck the joinings are together you make sure that the necks are corresponding to each other like this i'll be pinning the place i want to sew so i'll pin it like this all right guys i'm done with the pinning so now we'll go to the sewing machine i'll be sewing from this center front like this throughout the neck round to the other center front like this and after sewing that, then I will now join this straight down to this shoulder here, then continue straight down. Then I will do the same thing at this other side also. I will join it straight down like this. But I will not be sewing this half length. This I will not close the side. I will not close the side also. This is where we can turn it inside out. So now let me keep this aside so we can work on the peplum. This is my peplum. I've joined the flay together. Now it's now 720 
degree flay. But before when it was pieces, like one this flay, I've not joined this flay to this one. It was 360 degree flay. But now that I've joined it together, it's now 720 degree flay. You can see how it is. I've done the same thing on this other Ankara fabric also. This is the two place I will just use my scissors to give it that shape at the front. You can see how it is. I'll go to the sewing machine and maybe sewing this together. Now I'll go to the sewing machine and sew this on half inches round the flay. Now let me join this and show you guys what it looks like. Alright guys, I'm done with the sewing of the sides. You can see I sew straight down. I've turned the neck. I didn't sew this place. This is the place we'll be turning it for. But before we turn it, we have to trim out this SS. So now I'll cut this out. We are trimming this out because we don't want it to be bulky inside. We want, after ironing this, it to lay flat. We have to trim the neck round and launch it. Alright guys, I'm done with the trimming. Now we'll turn this inside out. So now let me turn this. For the turning you can see how it is now make, make use of my pressing iron to press this open to make it flat and please when you are pressing this make sure you're careful so that saturday will not be under sunday when i mean saturday will not be under sunday it means this fabric will not be showing under the other one it will just be flat and this one will be on its own. The other Ankara fabric too will be on its own. So now let me give this a good press. All right, guys, I'm done with the turning of the pinafore. Now we we'll keep this aside. Now let's work on the peplum. This is the peplum. I've sewed it round. You can see I sew all round like this. Now we'll turn it inside out. So guys, I'm done with the turning of the peplum also. Now we'll go to the pressing table to press this. And I'll make sure when I'm pressing it, this other Ankara fabric is not showing at the other side. That means I will be careful while ironing this. So when you're ironing yours also, please be careful so the fabric will not be showing underneath the other one so now let me iron this and show you guys what it looks like all right guys i'm done with the ironing of the pinafore you can see how it is this is the inner part and this is the other part so now we'll keep this aside and work on the flay I've ironed my flay also. You can see how it looks. So now we have to cut out our band. This is the band I'm using for this. And I make the band by two and the half inches. Yeah, two and the half by times two of the waist. The waist is 28. The waist is 28. So this is 28. Then it's times two. You can see we have 28 and some inches. Times two of the waist plus some inches. So now we'll bring in our flay. And we join before we join it in, you launch the middle of 
the band you launch the middle of your band like this and you launch the both sides the up and the down so now this color of the fabric will be facing the color of the the color together will be facing each other like this you place this material together like this and you bring up the other Ankara fabric also the middle because this has joining so the middle will be this joining you place it like this also use my pin to pin this down so you can see how it is we'll be sewing this in the middle like this you can see the way it is So now, let me pin this down and show you guys how it will look. So when you get to this place, you just you just continue sewing it to the end of the band. You sew on half inches to the end of the bound this place that's when you stop so now I'll do the same thing to this other side and go to the sewing machine to join this band together with the flea and show you guys what it looks like all right guys i'm done with the stitching of the band you can see i stitch from this end straight down all the way and the peplum is in between the two bands so now we'll trim this out a bit And we turn the peplum and we turn the band like this so now we'll turn this in like this so this is how it will be so now I'll use my pressing iron to press this down Please, when you're pressing, make sure the green fabric, the green Ankara is not showing under the yellow one. Or when I mean not showing under, Saturday is not under Sunday. So, you just do it gently. Okay, guys, I'm done with the ironing. Now, we have to bring in our pinafore to this. So before we bring in the pinafore, we we'll fold this on half inches. We we'll fold this on half inches like this. So now we still use the pressing iron to fold this in. You can see the way I fold. So now let me press this down and show you guys. So we'll all right guys i'm done with the ironing so now you just have to fold the peplum into two this way and check for the middle of the peplum you can see this is the middle of the peplum we don't have to launch this because we fold it already so i'll just use my chalk to get the middle then i'll bring in the pinafore this is the pinafore this is the back so you fold it too also to get the middle of the pinafore you can just give it a bit of lunch like they just small so you know the middle of the pinafore so now we we'll place the middle of the pinafore inside like this you can see how it is you don't need to place it to go inside much just a bit like this and i will use my pin to pin this down you don't have to push the pinafore to go inside more just make sure like half inches is okay then you use your pin to secure this down like this this is it you can see we've pinned it down now then We'll bring the front piece you just do this like this see if okay 
you know, so we can get the front piece where the flea stop that's where you make sure the the pinafore is and i'll pin this down also you can see the way it is just push it on half inches so now i'll do the same thing on this other side of the pinafore i'm done with the pinning you can see how it is this is the yellow part of the yellow Ankara. The yellow part of the fabric is facing together with the yellow part of the peplum. And when you turn it to this other side, the green side too are matching together. So now we'll go to the sewing machine and I will stitch in on top like this. You know, we've already folded it in with our pressing iron, so it's easier for us to fix to sew now but please when you want to join us you can see i added paper stay on the two band so it will be it will have a bit of weight so you can see now we just go to the sewing machine and sew this all the way round i'm done with the stitching of the band you can see how it is please when you want to join the front pinafore make sure the flay is together if it's to mark it the way i mark mine you have to mark it so it will be on the same line with the peplum you can see how it is and see the way i stitch it and this is the other ankara piece now let me display this for you to see on my dress form all right guys we are done with this uh, reversible pinafore jacket you can see how beautiful it looks please like share and subscribe thank you very much See you guys in my next video. God bless you.